Here at the Kalahari High School event, checking in with 81X Vexman Dark Phoenix. Phenomenal season so far. Two tournament wins, two skills champions, and a design award as well, too. So, congratulations on a great season so far. 81X, uh, some cool uh, iterations and changes they made on the road just a couple of weeks ago going into this event as well, too. So, we're going to be talking about those major changes, including their integration uh, with their kicker into their climber as well, uh, and then their double wing uh, system with their sleds as well, too. Let's learn more about 81X coming up here on Pips and Parts. This video on fun is brought to you by viewers like you and also in partnership with the following. The Robotics Education and Competition Foundation provides fantastic programs for students from elementary school all the way through college. These include VEX, Aerial Drone Competition, Online Challenges, JROTC, Grow Powered, Scholarships, Certifications, and so much more. To discover these exciting opportunities, visit recf.org and get connected. Shreeth, one of the big changes that you made in your robot, you're telling me, was this uh, integrated uh, kicker into a climber system on it. So talk to me about why you made those changes and let's showcase more about what it is. Okay, so like our last like big competition was probably Sugar Rush. And at this competition, all we like we had like a B-tier climb, but we realized that climb was becoming like a lot more important as the season goes on. And we also wanted to keep our robot like lightweight. So we decided we needed the kicker only for skills because for our strategy, we barely use the kicker in match. So what we did was just put the kicker on the climb and having the climb like this tall, like almost like a two bar kind of like lift allows us to get C tier, which like a lot of teams can't get. And that just gives us like the five extra points compared to anyone else. So in order to do this, what we did was we first had this like tower here and then we just have like a kind of like a lift system, which um, just goes up and this like plastic right here, it goes around the bar and when we pull it down, it gets C tier because it comes all the way up. And when we want to use the kicker, which is like barely ever only skills, but um, we just have the one motor going from here to here. And it's double slip because we realized that we want it to be able to go super fast when trying to kick the balls in skills so that we have more time for the actual route. So what we did was we took like, I mean, we had like a catapult kind of for a sugar rush, which was like barely ever used and just extra weight. So we just made this like simple kicker right here that has a 100 RPM motor and we just place the ball right here and it just keeps shooting back and forth. I think that's kind of just how the meta of the game has evolved a little bit too, right? When you looked earlier, catapults made a little bit more sense, but now it's all about timing of yeah. like, it's not just immediately go and do match loads, it's like match load at specific times now, right? So that I think probably attributes a lot of that. I gotta ask you about your C tier hitting. You know, so many teams we talk to are only doing an A or B tier for that. How did you figure out the integrate a C tier hang with this type of mechanism? Like, how did you get the packaging right for that? So basically, like, we kind of took like some in inspiration from like, uh, I don't know if you've seen it, but like elevated shooters. Sure. Uh, they get like a lot, like a lot of them get C tier because like their arm can go all the way up and come right down. So we like kind of like just took inspiration from that, had the two bar here. So it goes pretty much all the way down too. And on that, we just like, since like there's nothing in the middle, if there wasn't a kicker, we just decided why not put the kicker in? Cause we also wanted a high skills for like better awards as well. How quickly uh, are you going through like match cycles either in skills or during a match as well too with that new kicker? Okay, so for the kicker, um, it can do 44 shots in 17 seconds, wow. but we actually slow it down so then like we can be more consistent and get like the spread correctly in skills. So like it takes around like 23 seconds to do all 44. And then we have like, I don't know, two seconds like extra at the end of skills because our route doesn't take too long. And you got two skills, uh, two skills champion awards so far coming in, so definitely great with that. Uh, Sam, let's talk about the uh, double wings and the sleds that you're doing as well too. Uh, once again, we're talking about new iterations on this robot, so talking about uh, where they are uh, and how you end up doing the packaging uh, for these as well. All right, so at Sugar Rush, we actually had these double wings, and then we found these to be one of the most useful part of, parts of that Sugar Rush bot because it would help us in skills with these vertical locking wings. And then also in match, we we're, um, were able to push those tribals that like land in the middle of the, um, when the other, when our opponent is match loading, uh, we we're able to push those tribals to our offensive side. And then we found those like two main parts of uh, the wings, like main uses to be really useful for us at Sugar Rush. So we kind of implemented the same thing with, um, on that for this bot. Uh, the one thing we did though is we made uh, these mounts on our wings uh, more strong and put it through our entire uh, base. And then we made this plastic curve. And from our last competition, uh, we got a, got a lot of comments saying that our plastic was really bad. So we got new laser cut plastic. So now it's all shiny and new. So that's, that's another thing. 
And then for our double sleds, we wanted to be able to go forward and backwards over the bar. And at Sugar Rush, we weren't really able to do that well. So we had to redesign our sleds for this robot. And another thing that really helps us with our um, get a capability of getting over is our center of gravity. And because we moved our brain and um, tank and battery all towards our middle, of, like the middle of our robot, it's really low and um, we're, really, we're able to go through the field really nicely and smoothly. And, and that's like two major things. And then it helps us with our A tier climb, which we also have right here. So since, since the sleds uh, help us go over that, we don't really have to go uh, with m uh, much speed to go over um, the middle barrier uh, like well. And, so and I would think that also uh, changing your center of gravity helps out with that a lot yeah, too. Yeah, uh, so we to can get that balance, balance right in the middle yeah. instead of like backwards or forwards. Yeah. No, I love the thought process that's gone gone into that. Having that versatility of you know the double the double wings with the sleds, the double climb as well too. I think it's great. So there's so much cool stuff that goes with that. Last thing I'll ask you, Kalahari here, 180 teams uh, approximately at this event here. How do you how do you get through all that? Like that's a mountain to climb to try to get you know into the grand finals that sort of thing. What's the general strategy uh, for your team entering this event? I guess it's take it one by one. Don't get too overwhelmed because I mean 180 teams, 90 teams in division. That's more than every single team in Sugar Rush combined. Like, this is a crazy big event. Yeah, absolutely. So. Well, we look forward to seeing how you do here. Love the extra uh, changes you made as well, too. So can't wait to see you perform on the field. It's the Bexman Dark Phoenix once again. And good luck throughout the rest of the competition season. Thanks a lot, guys. Thank you. This video on fun is brought to you by viewers like you and also in partnership with the following. The Robotics Education and Competition Foundation provides fantastic programs for students from elementary school all the way through college. These include VEX, Aerial Drone Competition, Online Challenges, JROTC, Girl Powered, Scholarships, Certifications, and so much more. To discover these exciting opportunities, visit RECF.org and get connected. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the bell to stay up to date on our new videos. Keep the conversation going and provide your input to our content. Most live shows can be found on the First Updates Now YouTube channel, live competitions at twitch.tv slash firstupdatesnow, and join our Discord at discord.gg slash firstupdatesnow. Check our other social offerings on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter.